Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I just got this in the mail. So let's unbox my new fountain pen together, shall we? Let's do it. I think it would be fun. So I did mention that I did order the Twisby Eco from Goulet Pen, and I also ordered some sample inks um, that I wanted to try because I have gone down this whole like fountain pen rabbit hole and I'm not mad about it. Um, I feel super fancy when I write with fountain pens and I love using them in my Hobonichis. So let's hop right in. Let me pull this packing slip out. Let me give you a sucker. Um, okay, so I'm going to set this to the side. It does not have prices on here, so I can link what I ordered down below. Apparently, they give you a mini Tootsie Pop sucker when you place an order. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, this is the first time I've ever ordered from this company, so I am, I'm excited. Like, I'm super excited to see what I got. Okay, so I'm going to pull that out. Oh, you get, like, a lot of little freebies. So let's go through that. I guess you got this sticker of a hand holding a pen. I don't know if that's like their logo, but it says Goulet Pen. So that's neat. Um, so this is who packaged my order. So it's a little card and then you get a little thank you card from the Goulets. They're a family owned small business um, and they love fountain pens. So that's a nice little touch. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. And then, so it's just wrapped in here. I actually got four, four samples of inks. It's going to be all over the place. And I, I want to start off by saying I am by no means a fountain pen expert. Um, this is just something that I've recently gotten into and it's a lot of fun um, for me. So I just kind of want to take you guys along on the journey. So it comes like this, slide this bad boy off. Um, it's a Twisby Eco. If I can pop, let me see if I can pop it open. I'm going to have to use my tweezers because I'm not trying to pop my nails off, y'all. Maybe if it'll pop open. There it goes. Okay. And it's taped on the side. So, you know, it's, I guess, so you know, it's brand new. Ooh, look at me go. So, it comes like this. So, it's a Twisby. And so, you get your little instructions on how to use it. Um, you get, uh, it says, do not swallow or contact with eyes. I'm not really sure what that is. I don't, I get, I don't know what, um, country of origin the Twisby is from. I'll do some research. Um, so this is the pen. This is not so cute. This is the lilac color. What I like about it is it's a twist cap. Um, so... Oh my gosh, it's really pretty. And then you get like the little tools to take it apart and clean it. That's kind of the research I did on it. And it has like a user manual. I'll have to look through it. Okay, look how pretty. But yeah, so you have to twist it to use it. I got the extra fine. Um, it's a really, really pretty pen. Looks like it holds a good bit of ink. And my understanding is it is, um, whatever this is called. This is like a piston refill. I don't know. Again, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I wanted a twist cap because I usually keep this, um, in my pen loop of my Hobonichi weeks. Let me go get that. Hold on. Okay. So, okay. So usually I do keep my pens. Y'all please excuse. Like there's like sand all in here. Cause I took this on the beach with me yesterday, but look at that. If it's, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I could probably put it in like upside down. I don't know. I do like to keep my pens in here. I may just have to utilize my pencil case. Um, but I keep my pens in the pen loop and my Pilot Metropolitan was like, uh-uh, no thank you. It's so pretty. I really like it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I want to say this is like 30 bucks, 32 bucks, $33, something like that. So it's definitely a budget-friendly fountain pen. Okay. So now let's get to the ink samples that I got. Um, so I ordered three and then at the end I did an add-on for um, I did an add-on for a mystery ink. So the first sample I got and these samples are like two bucks maybe. Um, I just wanted to try it is the uh, Diatra Mentis document gray. Um, 
wanted to try this out. It looks really pretty. I also got the uh, Deatramentis Alexander Hamilton, which is um, a color similar to this um, pen. I just thought that would be cool to have in there, like a matchy-matchy pen situation. Um, I think that's my surprise one. And then I got the Deatramentis Archive Ink, um, which is like this really nice black. A lot of people use this ink to, uh, in their fountain pens. I think like Lindsay Scribble uses it and then a few others have recommended this ink to me. It's really like a uh, Hobonichi or Tamoy River paper friendly. So a lot of people have recommended this ink to me, which is I think what I'm going to fill the pen with today. I'm like, do I do it on camera? Let's crap. Let's do it on camera. Hold on. I brought some paper towels to hopefully not make a mess. Like, I wonder, can I just, I don't have like any, I just wonder like, will this fit in here? That's like a concern that I have. Um, so my, <laughs> I'm nervous cause I've never done this before. Um, so my understanding is like you dip the pen in the ink and then you, do you like, I guess you do this and then you dip it in the ink. I'm so confused. Okay. I'm going to do it this way maybe um if i'm doing this wrong please don't come at me so i'm you're supposed to like submerge the pen in the ink the nib in the ink and then i guess you pull that push this squeeze that down and then you pull it up i don't think i'm doing this right i'm not doing it right i'm so nervous okay let's try this again i think you're supposed to twist it down and then pull it up right i'm getting ink all over my hands Ooh. Okay, so let's try it. Pull it up. There it goes. Maybe. Yeah, you're supposed to pull it up like that. And then it has bubbles in it. So, like, somebody was saying, like, do that. Like, kind of put a few drops out. Ooh, it's all over my hands. Gross. Okay. That's probably going to stain my thing thing. That's fine. Okay. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. So, don't at me, like, if I'm not doing this correctly. Um... So, hold on. What am I doing? Okay, got it nice and tight. And then I guess you just kind of like clean it. I don't think I did this right at all, but that's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. And then it twists on, and then you have ink in your pen, and you can see the ink. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. Um, that was the first time I've ever inked a fountain pen, by the way. All right. So, you guys want to test it out? I think I wiped it clean. Let me get my paper towel back and just kind of wipe it again to make sure, like, I did everything like I was supposed to. This is a fun video, isn't it? Watching me stumble through loading up a fountain pen with ink. Okay. So, I'm going to twist it, twist it. I'm just making sure I get all the ink off of the pen. I'll speed this up, y'all. Okay, so let's be fancy and write with our fountain pen. So I'm gonna go to my test page in my Hobonichi back here. I have a test page. Um, I'm gonna zoom y'all in just a little bit so you guys can see it better. Okay, are y'all ready? So again, ultra fine or extra fine maybe it's extra fine not ultra fine so this is the Ooh. i don't think i spelled that right eco and the ink is where's the ink how cool is this so i'm gonna i can't spell so i'm using this this is that's supposed to be a capital a in case y'all were wondering I love this pen. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm impressed. I will say it's not as scratchy or it's not scratchy at all. My um, Pilot Metropolitan was a, like, it was a scratchy pen. I have the fine tip. Um, I see people do this when they're, <laughs> um, yeah, this 
it's nice it's not skipping hello I mean I really this is a nice pen I love this it feels really good to write with um yeah I mean scribble scribble I like it this is an extra fine if I didn't put the ink in right y'all somebody correct me and tell me what I need to do differently next time um because I don't know what I'm doing but um I really like it I like it a lot this is so cool so cool it's very smooth like I'm gonna have a really good time like journaling with this um so yeah I'm, I'm excited to try the other inks I'm scared of using inks other than black ink I want y'all to know that um but I thought maybe I could like step outside my comfort zone and try different colored inks so I think like once I use all the ink in this one I may go to a gray one um and then let's see how it, it fares okay I just wrote that and it's smeared but if you can see the ones I wrote earlier, they're holding very nicely. And my hands are kind of sweaty too. So, so cool is the only thing that has smeared. Um, and I just wrote that. So, I mean, this, this is nice. I really like this pen. So I would say, yeah, I'm happy with my purchase. There you go. I will be using this in here. So I'll probably what I will do is I will just keep my fountain pen in this case. Hopefully it will it will hold well in here with like my Tombow. Um, and I'll just carry this kind of around with me. Hopefully it is durable enough that it will, it will handle that fairly nicely. But yes, overall, I like it. Um, but yeah, I'll be sure to link it down in the description and the inks as well that I purchased. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I, I don't know that I can answer them just because I don't know what I'm doing. I just thought I would share, share with you guys like this really cool and happy uh, purchase that I made. All right. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in my next video. Hope you have a fabulous day.